Math Coach presents Rounding to the Nearest Hundred. We use rounding when we want to estimate. Rounding gives us numbers that are easy to use, like 100, 200, 300, and so on. Rounding numbers help you solve everyday problems where you don't need an exact answer. That's called an estimate. Rounding might look hard, but hey, guess what? If you know how to put numbers in order and can skip count by hundreds, you can learn to round any number to the nearest hundred with ease. Here are some useful things to know. You can show any number on a number line. Numbers to the right have a greater value than numbers to the left. The nearest hundred on either side of our number is a useful benchmark. And the midpoint is the number that is halfway between two benchmarks. If the number you want to round is less than the midpoint, round down. If the number you are rounding is at the midpoint or greater than the midpoint, round up. You can round any number to the nearest hundred in four easy steps. Let's see how. Let's round 527 to the nearest hundred. Step 1. Figure out what benchmarks to use. To the nearest hundred tells you to choose the hundred before 527 and the hundred after 527. 500 is the lower benchmark, and 600 is the higher benchmark. Now you can set up a number line and mark your benchmarks. Step 2. Find the midpoint between 500 and 600. That's the number that is exactly in the middle. The midpoint is 550. Step 3. Now locate 527 on the number line. 527 is less than 550. So now you are ready for step 4. You can round. 527 is closer to 500 than to 600. So, to the nearest 100, 527 rounds down to 500. Sometimes the nearest hundred is zero. Let's round 49 to the nearest hundred. The benchmarks are zero and 100. The midpoint is 50. 49 is less than 50. So, to the nearest hundred, 49 rounds down to zero. And sometimes the nearest hundred is 1,000. Look at 975. The benchmarks are 900 and 1000. The midpoint is 950. 975 is greater than 950. So, to the nearest hundred, 975 rounds to 1000.